Hello and welcome to module number five, Collaborate and Communicate with Autodesk Vault. My name is Brian Shannon and I'm a product manager with the Autodesk Vault family of products. Today's module is going to take us through uh, some uh, collaboration and, and some extension of Vault and the ability to, uh, per our, our three key themes here, uh, integration, collaboration, and flexibility, this one is going to address the collaboration. So extending Vault to the other people, being uh, the central source, um, not only just having an integration, but communicating with all the members of the design team and how we can look to one location and see all the up-to-date information. And it doesn't have to be just inside of one office. We can scale this up and even uh, talk about collaboration. So coming up, we'll take a look at uh, Microsoft Office and Outlook integration. Uh, the ability to run a dashboard report to get a quick status check on uh, where a particular project is. We'll take a look at the Vault web client access that we have out of the box. Uh, we'll examine change order collaboration, which will um, introduce other people that might have non-CAD access into the change order control and release process. And then we'll finally take a look at replication. So this theme is uh, the collaborate and communicate. The ability to, as Vault is a concurrent use tool uh, by nature, it's a client server application that has, uh, can have multiple clients in different capacities. So not everybody will be using this with, uh, with Inventor or AutoCAD or Revit. There is going to be some people that have a little bit different role to play, but the good news is Vault can handle all of that. So, Vault, again, is this platform for all of your digital data, and we can collaborate and communicate all of this information across the entire life cycle, and this is going to allow us to uh, shorten uh, delivery times, build competitive strength, and again, we're, we're going to see this theme of everything is going to be inside of the Vault, but it's not always CAD. It's not just for CAD data anymore. Some of the customer business challenges are uh, the uh, the reuse of data that's uh, documents and files. So all of this uh, this other you know Word docs, Excel, uh, and with a, our new Outlook integration, there's more than just CAD files that we need to capture inside a Vault and have inside of one common location. So what we're going to see is the uh, the ability for Vault to manage all of this other data and, and become the central source that it is. So the Microsoft Office integration that we have, we have a representation up in the browser uh, or the, the ribbon inside of Office 2007 and 2010. And what you'll see is a consistent Vault interface. This allows you to work on a spec or a spreadsheet and uh, save it into the Vault and actually create a revision from time to time and be able to go back to it. So as you start working through some of these file types, uh, we can actually start to build some history that you can go back to, um, copy it, uh, go and branch off in a different direction. But all the while, what you're going to see is the, the Vault dialog boxes are, are standardized. This makes it, uh, makes it a, a common experience for all users. So new inside of 2012, we actually have Outlook integration. And the Outlook integration is going to extend the, the Word Docs, PowerPoint, Excel to uh, email messages so we can uh, check all of our emails and correspondence directly inside of the Vault. And that goes along with the theme of projects. That goes along with the theme of um, all of the data being inside of one Vault uh, so we don't have data in multiple locations. Inside of, uh, Microsoft, or inside of the Vault preview window, we can preview uh, not only PowerPoints with builds and Excel spreadsheets, uh, WinZip, PDFs, Word Docs, but now we can actually preview all of our email messages. So if, right from the preview tab, we don't have to, you know, take this out, you know, get it outside of Vault and click on it open. This allows us to easily thumb through all of the information inside of Vault. In fact, uh, if you uh, were to demonstrate this to a customer, I, I highly suggest, you know, taking this PowerPoint and you could actually run it and launch it from, uh, either run it or uh, uh, open it from directly inside of a vault just to show that we have uh, first class integration with uh, Office. So when it comes to our Outlook integration, like uh, Word and Excel and PowerPoint, we're going to have uh, the ability to check in and check out. We're going to have a, a, a ribbon 
uh, up at the top that allows us to add emails and threads and actually we can create a rule that automatically adds email threads into a particular project inside a vault. This makes it, uh, it makes it able to capture all of this information. Sometimes a, a project or a job is, is more than just the CAD drawings. It's more than just all of those other formats. It's the behind the scenes um, sign offs and approvals and this allows you to capture all the project related data directly inside of one location, which is Vault.